drive this country's recent surge in opioid. But the abuse of opioids has become an epidemic in our country. Where officials say they are on track for 10,000 overdose deaths. Opioids are an epidemic and they have to be brought down forever. Thanks to the town police, state troopers, and DEA, there's less and less substance on the streets every day, but this is not enough to stop people from overdosing on the extremely powerful drugs. Substances like heroin are extremely cheap and easy to find. And recently, the drug fentanyl has been laced in many drugs and opioids across the country, and it's more powerful and dangerous than heroin and cocaine. In many cases, drug addiction starts with prescribed medication. Doctors are prescribing the pills like they're Advil or Tylenol, but in reality, they are highly addictive painkillers that you can overdose on in minutes. In 2015, there was 12,990 overdoses on just heroin and another 20,101 overdoses on painkillers, some of which were prescribed, and this is only in the U.S. In 2015, 27.1 million people aged 12 or older were current illicit drug users and 138.3 million currently drink alcohol. You need heroes like EMTs and ambulance drivers to save their lives. They do so much for our country by saving these people that just need a fresh start. And the police's job by taking down the criminals that are making and distributing the substance are equally as important. Doctors and nurses are a key importance in saving lives too. They have to teach these drug users how to get away from drugs and move to a better alternative. Like living a great life and having a family to live it with. Next time you see one of these heroes in the streets, just appreciate what they do for you and how many people's lives they save by doing their job. They are true heroes.